So the first, the first question I have before we get into that is like your best, your best scheme. Like, have you ever had to use it? Have you ever used your nasal glucagon? I have not. Okay. Um, I've never used any glucagon actually. I remember I followed you one day when you said you just felt like trying it out, the needle one. And yeah. you said it was, it was okay. Yeah. I had that, but now I have the vaccine and I've heard don't use it unless you're actually unconscious because I've heard it's, it's horrible. I heard it's a little intense, but yeah, I've, I've never used that, but yeah, I used glucagon for the first time last year. Yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was interesting. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. So I think, I think I had something similar where I was like, re- like 162 arrows down and like my sensor ran out as like my last sensor. And I was like, you know what, if Rob, Howe can do this, I can yeah. do this shit. And I just like stabbed myself with the G voke and was like, we're going to ride this out. Was this the old school one that you have to like mix together? It wasn't. No. Okay. It's that's so the fancy. I, that's the I feel, I, I feel like I have the Louis Vuitton of glucagon. I feel <laughs> extremely Tesla about this. Okay. So it's like this little pen thing that you just, boop, and that's it. And that's well, it. It doesn't even hurt that bad. Yeah. It doesn't I, even I, hurt that bad. I just think it's so important to hear people talk about glucagon in a way. Cause like you're talking about the red kit, right? Like the yes. old, the original, yeah. the OG Lily kit where like you got to like heroin, you got to like squirt the needle. And, like it's got the, the solution. Yeah. You got to put it in the, the vial, shake it, like pull it out. And like, now we have like the Givoke, the Givoke hypo pen that you can just like jab in there, like real simple. And then you got the best where it's like inhalable. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't know. I think if you're out there listening, uh, glucagon is really important to have around for people who take insulin. One. There and, are options out there for us and, and figure out which one works for you. And severe low blood sugar is scary. Thing well, to practice. People who are, you know, used to diabetes, they know something's wrong with me. They're freaking out. They're not thinking clearly. They're going to look in the first aid kit. They're going to be throwing everything around, panicking, you know, and if you put a sign, just a giant sign that says, hey, spray this up your nose. It's not that hard. Whereas the glucagon kit, like that is so intimidating. What are the chances someone doesn't mix it properly and injects you and it doesn't work? You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's, it's super intimidating. And there was one time I was with my um, fiance before I got vaccine and I had the red kit you were telling me about, and I was trying to teach him how to do it. And then it's like, yes. So I do this and mix it together, wait for it to be clear. And then I put it back on the needle to give it to you. And I was like, I didn't even know that. Like, wait, like, wait. <laughs> You're supposed to wait? I didn't know that either. You're supposed to you... wait for it to clear out and be a clear color. I didn't know, but I was so touched that he looked it up and knew this. And I was like, oh my gosh, you, you like looked that up. I had no idea, but he knew and more he about put, it. And he put a ring on it. So, I mean, good thing. Yeah. <laughs> but also you're absolutely right about the glucagon thing. The whole thing itself is intimidating. I remember my parents, my parents having conversations with my dumb bros at like, we were 16 and they were like, okay, if Robert ever passes out, like you idiots are going to have to be responsible for him. And it's like, <laughs> not right, you idiots. Great. Like... <laughs> great. Yeah. No, for real. <laughs> 